Are you a Harry Potter fan looking for a new way to appreciate the series? Do you love delving into the characters, plot, and themes of your favorite stories? Then Muggle Snuggle, brought to you by Hustle Studios, is the podcast for you. Each week, we explore a different aspect of the Harry Potter series in a deep and meaningful way. But here's the catch, we do it in the most boring way possible. That's right, Muggle Snuggle is the ultimate Harry Potter snooze fest. So grab your wand, find a comfy spot, and get ready to snuggle up with us as we dive into the magical world of Hogwarts. Whether you're a diehard Harry Potter fan or just looking for a new way to enjoy the series, Muggle Snuggle has something for everyone. So join us and get ready to snuggle up with your favorite muggles as we explore the wizarding world of Harry Potter. Don't miss an episode to subscribe to Muggle Snuggle, brought to you by Hustle Studios, today. Embarking on a thrilling adventure, exploring the ghostly heart of Baguio City's haunting legends. Imagine a city cradled amidst the clouds, its mornings veiled in mist, and its streets lined with towering pines. This is Baguio City, a picturesque haven known for its cool climbs and stunning landscapes that draw travelers from all over the world. The verdant hills and vibrant blossoms of sunflowers along its serpentine roads are a tranquil promise of nature's undisturbed beauty a stark contrast to the bustling metropolis below. Picturesque Destination Baguio City, often dubbed the summer capital of the Philippines, is a testament to the harmonious blend of nature's splendor and human craftsmanship. As you wander through its scenic parks and gardens, the refreshing breeze carries with it the scents of pine and freshly bloomed flowers. The panoramic views from atop its rolling terrain whisper tales of peace and relaxation, inviting souls to bask in its eternal springtime embrace. The haunted side of Baguio City. But beneath this tranquil facade lies a more thrilling narrative, one that sends shivers down the spines of even the most skeptical visitors. For when the sun dips low, casting elongated shadows through the dense foliage, the city reveals an alter ego steeped in the paranormal. Rumors swirl like the fog through its streets, hinting at a haunted history that entices thrill-seekers and ghost-hunters alike. City's Ghostly Legends These are not merely campfire stories or whispered superstitions. Baguio's ghostly legends are as much a part of its heritage as its cultural festivals and art. Specters of times gone by seem to linger in the very air. From the infamous haunted houses standing ominously against the skyline, to the chilling apparitions reported by locals and tourists, each tale is a thread in the intricate tapestry of Baguio's mystique. The city's ethereal allure is enriched by such narratives, drawing in those who wish to glimpse beyond the veil of reality. An intriguing question. But what is it about Baguio City that invites these spectral stories to take root in its heart? Is it the lingering echoes of a tumultuous past, or perhaps something more enigmatic, woven into the fabric of the land itself? How do these haunting legends shape the city's character, enchanting the imagination of every visitor? Encounter with the Lock and White Lady In the shrouding mist of Baguio's twilight, there whispers a tale as old as the city's cobbled pathways, the legend of the Lock and White Lady. Her story is woven into the fabric of the local lore, a chilling narrative of heartbreak that culminates in a spectral quest for vengeance. It's said that many years ago, a woman, betrayed and overcome with sorrow, met a tragic end along the now infamous Lochan Road. Her spirit, unable to find peace, lingers on, an eternal prisoner of her own demise. The White Lady of Lochan, cloaked in the palest of gowns, roams in search of justice or perhaps redemption, her presence felt by those who dare to tread near her domain after dark. Lokan Road, with its twisting turns, is flanked by towering pine trees that stand as silent sentinels under the moon's watchful eye. As daylight fades, an eerie tranquility blankets the area, and the whispering winds navigate through the pines, carrying with them the soft murmurs of the unseen. 
There stands one tree, distinct from the others, gnarled and bent with age, as if burdened by an ancient sorrow. It is beneath this very pine that the White Lady is believed to make her solemn vigil, her ethereal figure occasionally illuminated by the moonlight, casting a ghostly glow upon the asphalt below. Travelers who brave the night along Loken Road recount tales that send shivers down the spine. Some speak of fleeting shadows darting between the trees, while others report a sudden drop in temperature, the chill of the unseen. The most vivid of these accounts entail encounters with the White Lady herself, often described as a figure draped in white, her face obscured, yet her gaze penetrating the souls of those she observes. Many have felt an inexplicable sense of dread, a weight upon their chests, as they pass the haunted pine, only to look in the rearview mirror and find nothing but the road's empty stretch behind them. As we delve deeper into the heart of Baguio City's spectral landscape, the encounter with the Loakan White Lady marks the beginning of our journey through the veil of the supernatural. Each twist in the road beckons with the possibility of crossing paths with the otherworldly, each shadow a hiding place for phantoms of the past. The ghostly tales of the White Lady are more than mere stories. They are invitations to the curious and the brave to witness the echoes of a bygone era that refused to be silenced. And so, we continue, driven by the thrill of the unknown and the allure of the city's dark secrets, yet always mindful that in Baguio, the past is never truly at rest. Unveiling the secrets of Diplomat Hotel, exploring the dark history. The Diplomat Hotel, perched atop Dominican Hill, holds a past as misty and shrouded as the low-hanging clouds that often envelop Baguio City. It was during the Japanese occupation that this once peaceful retreat was transformed into an austere seminary and later a place of unspeakable horrors. The echoes of its dark history reverberate through the hollow corridors, telling tales of wartime atrocities that stained its very walls with despair. Alleged Paranormal Activities as night descends upon the ruinous facade of the Diplomat Hotel, a symphony of supernatural occurrences begins. Visitors whisper of chilling screams that pierce the silence without warning, a grim reminder of the souls rumored to have met their end within these walls. There are accounts, too, of sightings so ghastly they chill the blood. Decapitated priests and nuns, wandering headless through the ruins, seeking retribution or perhaps solace for their violent demises. The eerie ambiance of the hotel. The Diplomat Hotel stands as a sentinel of sorrow amidst the beauty of Baguio. Its eerie ambiance is palpable. The air hangs heavy with a sense of foreboding. It is as if the very atmosphere is charged with the paranormal, each room and passageway a vignette of the hotel's macabre legacy. The building itself, with its crumbling walls and empty window frames, appears to watch visitors with an unnerving, spectral scrutiny spine-tingling accounts from visitors. Those who dare to tread the haunted halls of the Diplomat Hotel recount experiences that defy explanation. A visitor tells of a sudden drop in temperature, a cold so pervasive it seemed to seep into her bones, while another speaks of inexplicably moving shadows that vanished when approached. Each story adds another layer to the hotel's reputation as a hotspot for the supernatural, a place where the veil between worlds is unsettlingly thin. Haunted Tales of Laparel White House The Grim Past of Laparel White House Once a grand family residence, the Laparel White House now stands as an eerie monument to Baguio City's tumultuous history. Its Victorian architecture, complete with gables and a steeply pitched roof, casts an imposing silhouette against the sky, reminiscent of a time scarred by war and natural disasters. The house, named after the prominent La Peral family who once resided there, bore silent witness to the Baguio massacre during World War II. Tales whisper of numerous lives brutally snatched within its walls, adding a somber chapter to its storied past. Then, in 1990, the Luzon earthquake shook the very foundations of the city, leaving a trail of devastation and further embedding a sense of tragedy into the time-worn fibers of the Laparel White House. Encounters Within the Haunted Halls Visitors to the Laparel White House often speak of a chill that clings to the spine, as if the house itself exhales a cold breath from its darkest corners. 
Many have reported seeing ghostly figures darting through the corridors or gazing out from the windows with hollow eyes. The most chilling of these apparitions is said to be a woman in white, her presence often accompanied by a sudden drop in temperature and the inexplicable scent of flowers in bloom. It's not just visual specters that haunt these spaces. Sounds of footsteps echo in empty rooms, and soft whispers float through the air, leaving one to wonder if they've caught fragments of conversations from a bygone era. A sense of unease. There's an undeniable tension that grips those who walk the creaking floors of the Laparal White House. Each step seems to stir echoes of the past, and one cannot shake the feeling of being watched by unseen eyes. Objects are found mysteriously displaced, and doors creak open with no apparent cause. Even during the day, when sunlight filters through the stained glass, there's a wariness that permeates the atmosphere, as if daylight can't quite penetrate the shadows that cling to the house's legacy. Connecting to cultural heritage. These haunted tales do more than send shivers down one's spine. They are intricately woven into the cultural tapestry of Baguio City. They serve as a poignant reminder of the hardships endured by its people and the resilience required to overcome them. The Laparal White House, in its spectral magnificence, stands as a testament to the city's ability to embrace its history, both beautiful and tragic. Through these ghostly narratives, the city acknowledges and preserves the memories of those who came before, ensuring that the past, with all its joys and sorrows, is not forgotten. Teacher's Camp, a training ground for the supernatural, unearthing haunted histories. In the heart of Baguio City, a place originally designed to educate has become an unintended cradle for the paranormal. Teacher's Camp, with its century-old structures nestled among the misty hills, once hosted American educators intent on learning the best ways to serve in their profession. However, this seemingly innocuous training ground harbors a spectral past, with many visitors reporting experiences that defy explanation. The night air carries whispers of bygone eras, and the old wooden floors creak with the weight of invisible feet, echoes of teachers who, perhaps, never truly left. Ghostly apparitions and poltergeist activity. As darkness descends upon the camp, it transforms into a stage where the supernatural takes the spotlight. Guests who dare stay overnight speak of chilling encounters. Imagine lying in bed and hearing the laughter of children outside your window, but upon peering into the blackness, finding only the sway of pine trees in the wind. Some have reported faucets turning on by themselves, doors slamming shut with no one around, and sudden drops in temperature that leave one's breath visible in the stillness of a room. These unexplained occurrences serve as an eerie reminder that in teacher's camp, one is never truly alone. Eerie Encounters with Doppelgangers The tales from teacher's camp take a more unsettling turn with accounts of doppelgangers, spectral doubles of the living. One such story involves a group of trainees who saw their instructor walking the grounds after midnight, an hour when he was known to be sound asleep. When they called out to him, he vanished into the fog like a wisp of smoke. Such stories lead one to wonder if the spirits are mere residual hauntings or if they possess an awareness, a purposeful mimicry meant to bewilder and communicate with those still bound to the mortal coil. Objects in Motion, the mysterious movements within teacher's camp. It's not just the apparitions that unsettle the soul, but also the poltergeist phenomena, the moving of objects as if by an unseen hand. Teacher's camp seems rife with this particular brand of haunting. Visitors recount instances of personal belongings inexplicably relocating, sometimes right before their very eyes. A brush might shift across a dresser, or a book may tumble from a shelf without any earthly provocation. These occurrences challenge the skeptics and thrill-seekers alike, leaving them to ponder the forces at play within the camp's quaint cottages and dormitories. The final chilling chapter at Teacher's Camp. Our journey through the ghostly heart of Baguio City concludes here, at Teacher's Camp, a place of learning turned legend. The echoes of the past reverberate through its halls, offering a final chilling chapter to those brave enough to listen. It stands as a testament to the city's spectral tapestry, woven with threads of history, tragedy, and the unexplained. As we leave behind the creaking gates and watch the fog reclaim the grounds, we carry with us the stories of the camp, 
a reminder of the ethereal residents who may forever walk its paths, seeking to impart their otherworldly lessons to the living. Reflecting on Baguio City's haunting legends, as the mist descends over the city and the cool breeze whispers through the pines, the tales of Baguio's haunted past linger in the air like an unresolved melody. We have wandered through corridors echoing with ghostly footsteps, along roads shrouded by spectral mists, and into houses where the past refuses to be forgotten. These stories, each a tapestry thread, weave together to form the chilling narrative of Baguio City's most infamous haunted places. Hauntings as heritage. The ghostly legends of Baguio are as much a part of its heritage as the scent of pine is to its forests. The White Lady of Loken, the forlorn spirits of Diplomat Hotel, the silent witnesses within the Lapral White House, and the phantoms of Teacher's Camp all hold mirrors to the city's turbulent history. These tales, passed down through generations, are not mere stories to frighten children, but are entwined with Baguio's cultural identity. They remind us that every city has chapters that defy the daylight, pages filled with shadows and whispers that history alone cannot silence. Legends and the lifeblood of a city. Consider the impact of these haunting legends on local heritage and tourism. Once narratives meant to be told in hushed tones around campfires, they now draw curious souls from far and wide, eager for a brush with the unknown. Visitors trek to these storied sites, seeking both the thrill of fear and the echo of history's footsteps. The legends are not just specters of fright, they are ambassadors to the world, inviting intrigue and exploration into the heart of Baguio City. In this way, the phantoms of old become partners to the living, contributing to the cultural richness and economic vitality of the mountain retreat. The eternal echoes of stories. Let us then circle back to the enigma we posed at the beginning, pondering the profound magnetism of these ghostly tales. Why do we gravitate towards stories that make our hearts race and our spines tingle? Perhaps it is because they allow us to touch the eternal, the mysteries of life and death that we can never fully grasp. The legends of Baguio City offer us a glimpse into the unknown, an invitation to question what lies beyond the veil. They are stories that do not end, but instead reverberate through time, resonating with the deepest parts of our psyche. Now, in the quiet aftermath of our thrilling journey, we find ourselves standing upon the cusp of reality and legend. Through the eerie encounters and spectral sightings, we have traversed a landscape where the past is always present, and where every shadowy corner holds a story. Baguio City, with its haunting legends, is not simply a place on the map. It is a realm where folklore breathes, where every whisper of the wind might carry a tale from beyond. Are you a Harry Potter fan looking for a new way to appreciate the series? Do you love delving into the characters, plot, and themes of your favorite stories? Then Muggle Snuggle, brought to you by Hustle Studios, is the podcast for you. Each week, we explore a different aspect of the Harry Potter series in a deep and meaningful way. But here's the catch, we do it in the most boring way possible. That's right, Muggle Snuggle is the ultimate Harry Potter snooze fest. So grab your wand, find a comfy spot, and get ready to snuggle up with us as we dive into the magical world of Hogwarts. Whether you're a diehard Harry Potter fan or just looking for a new way to enjoy the series, Muggle Snuggle has something for everyone. So join us and get ready to snuggle up with your favorite muggles as we explore the wizarding world of Harry Potter. Don't miss an episode to subscribe to Muggle Snuggle, brought to you by Hustle Studios, today.